Come with me and we're going to get a turbo replacement on this 2016 Nissan X-Trail 1.6 DCI. And the reason why we are changing the turbo is because it's whining. Now, these aren't the best of jobs to do. So what we're going to do, we'll make a start, we're going to get all this scuttle panel off. Now we've got the scuttle panel off, we have got a lot more access to the turbo, which is located down the back of the engine. Let's get all these pipes and that removed now. Now we've got all the pipes off and other various components, uh, brake fluid, reservoir out of the way, just need to undo the three bolts now on the DPF cat, then we can pull that from underneath. Now we are underneath the vehicle, we need to take the exhaust center and rear, pull it straight off, remove the DPF, uh, dry shaft and a few mounts out of the way. Absolutely horrendous job this is. All right, now we've got everything out of the way and it was a bit of a blag, dry shaft out, all the mountains, exhaust off, and that mount there was C solid for the dry shaft and the bearing that goes in there. I've had a right nightmare with it. Anyway, now it's all out of the way. Undo the two turbo bolts at the back and then we can go back at the top. Now we're back at the top. I've just got to remove this heat shield, the little eight mil down the back, the oil feed pipe, and one 10 mil behind that cover. And we can get the turbo off. And there we go, that is one turbo off. Uh, we've literally caught this in time. We've got no side to side play, but we have got lots of in and out. And the whine that the customer was hearing was the actual impeller fouling the housing and that is the brand new turbo that we will be fitting we've got all new gaskets to do out um, I've cleaned the oil feed pipe and it is like brand new I've put a piece of wire through it made sure it's nice and clean with a bit of brake and clutch blew it out with the airline so let's get this turbo fitted and there we go that is the turbo back on uh, we've got the DPF back on it's an absolutely horrendous job I wish I could show you doing it but anyway that's not a worry get your oil can now and before we put this banjo back in the turbo we need to prime this as best as we can so just get plenty of oil squirted in it now we're back underneath the car i've got the oil feed pipe up there to tighten up and various brackets but i have cleaned that one up now which secures a dry shaft bearing and it is like brand new anyway let's get cracking and that is everything now back together before i drop it down and finish off the top just want to drain the oil out of it change the fuel filter and we will put the gearbox oil back in the gearbox now that we've finished everything underneath, there's various lots of wiring limb components that I need to plug in, temperature sensors, DPF pressure sensors, and various pipes that I need to put on. So I need to crack on. Right, we're getting somewhere now. We've got a lot of things bolted all back up. Um, I've unplugged the fuel pressure regulator, put some fresh oil in it. I'm gonna wind it over, let the oil pressure build up in the turbo and the engine, plug it back in, and we will get it running. And there we go. The car is now back up and running, and it is sounding like brand new. Um, I've got lots of stuff to put back on, all the scuttle panel and stuff, a lot of boring stuff, which is all there. This job has absolutely drained the life out of me. And if anybody is going to do one, take that engine out 10 times quicker. Anyway, I'll put it all back together, take it down the road for a bit of a test drive, and get it sent. 